There are a lot of things that the government is doing in supporting the small and medium-sized businesses now and in the future. And if you look back, you know, five, ten years ago and compare to some of the policies the government have in place, um, they are significantly different and much more favorable uh, to the small and medium-sized businesses. What are some of those things? Number one, the biggest problems that business community generally but those who take the biggest brunt of that pain are the small businesses, is the business environment, uh, where you have to deal with thousands of licenses. Um, you need to get 20 licenses to actually do certain things. If you have to pay taxes, it's not only difficult for you and expensive to pay taxes, but sometimes it's even made more difficult to do that many years ago. Today we have the iTax. You can actually deal with uh, your tax payment much more smoothly than, than you actually do. And so government has focused a lot of energy. And through a program that my ministry has been leading on ease of doing business, we have transformed the business climate in Kenya uh, in the last five, six years, taking Kenya from the bottom quartile of the worst countries to do business with in the world to now being in the top quartile. And that is likely and going to benefit the small and medium-sized businesses much more than the big businesses who tend to have advisors, lawyers, architects, tax advisors, and so on and so forth. Uh, government is also making efforts to guarantee loan schemes for small businesses. It doesn't happen that often. Effectively, government is asking financial institutions to lend money to small businesses but with the backing of government guarantees.